Live from ABC7, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, and Dallas Rains Weather. As Eyewitness News at 4 in High Definition continues. Up next, the result of a new study on the health effects of pollution on women. Also coming up right here, we'll show you a few simple exercises that could help you heal your aching back. And Dallas is coming back with another look at your forecast. 80% of Americans will experience some type of back pain in their lifetime. And for many, the solution may include highly invasive orthopedic surgery. But spine specialists say many sufferers can avoid going under the knife if they take immediate charge of their back health. Good, good to see you. How's your back doing today? While spine surgery is how Dr. Ian Armstrong makes his living, he says it's always the last thing he recommends. Even though I'm a spine surgeon, uh, most of the patients I see, we can get better without surgery. He asks his back pain patients to make a whole range of lifestyle changes, which include exercises to help heal their backs. We can't really control the spine wearing out, but we can control the strength of the muscles that support the spine. Exercises will vary depending on the location and severity of the injury. Yoga instructor Lisa Gold says people can begin to relieve pain and strengthen muscles right where they are right away. Just slightly change what you normally do. It's bringing the consciousness into I don't just have to like have things the way they are. I could shift my chair. I could shift my position in my chair. Gold says reach out while sitting at your desk or on your couch and don't forget to breathe. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Do three more times. Just let the body roll. Then take the same movement to the floor. Your knees are underneath your hips. If you have any problems on your wrists, you could actually go down to your elbows. A University of Washington study found adults with chronic back pain benefited greatly from doing yoga. Patients in the study were taking half the pain medication of their peers. And again, slide to where it's comfortable. Take three breaths, and then you can lean forward and push off the wall. Even in your car, you can work on your back. I think the best thing is at a stop sign, shrug your shoulders up. Put your shoulders against the back, put your head on the backrest, and shrug your shoulders up and drop them back down. While you can modify different exercises to fit your needs, there is one you'll want to avoid. The old sit-up um, can really cause back problems. So doing what we would call crunches or head lifts to strengthen the stomach uh, is one way to strengthen the stomach without causing more problems with your back. Uh, the main um, caveat of exercise is, is if it hurts, don't do it. And low stress activities like swimming and walking can help too. A recent UCLA study found these kinds of workouts can be more effective than doctor recommended back exercises because people often do them incorrectly. So the trick is to find someone to help you out with these exercises. And again, don't do anything that hurts. Okay, good advice. All right. Denise, thanks.